If you're already using Heptabase, you know it's a powerful tool for personal knowledge management. However, with great power comes great responsibility. Like with other sophisticated tools such as Notion and Obsidian, you need a solid structure. Without it, you'll find it challenging to organize new information and retrieve specific knowledge when you need it. That's where our My Life OS concept comes into play. It's not just a simple template for download because we believe that one-size-fits-all solutions don't meet everyone's needs. Instead, MyLifeOS is built around our tool-agnostic ICO methodology, focusing on the capturing beast concept. It might sound complex, but don't worry, it's more straightforward than you think. In this video, I'll walk you through setting up your own MyLifeOS step by step. But note, this is not a beginner's guide to Heptabase. I assume you already have a basic understanding of how it works. If you're new to Heptabase, I suggest starting with our free beginner's course on this channel. Once you've done that, come back here and we'll dive into setting up your system too. Now let's get started with this tutorial. Paperless movement, your productivity, your way. Okay, here we are inside my Heptabase setup and here is my life for as concept that I implemented here and what all these elements mean, let's quickly have a look what the capturing beast in context of the ICO methodology means. And then we will get back here and I show you this as an example, how to implement this. And then in the end of the video, I will show you how you can set this up from scratch inside your Heptabase. All right, let's quickly switch to our website. And on our website, you can go to what is i -Core or the courses on both. You will find the i -Core journey, all right? So for those who don't know what i -Core is, i -Core stands for input, control, output, and refine. And it defines a productivity system end to end. Today, we talk about the My Life concept and that's in the PKM area, part of the note-taking area. So therefore, we will focus on the input and control. But don't worry, we will just look at the, the simple concept of capturing beast, which helps any busy professional to know exactly where to store information and how to easily retrieve this. And that's the whole idea behind the My Life OS concept, to easily store information and retrieve it later on. So therefore, let's quickly look behind the scenes, go into the membership, into the courses and pick up the magic slides that explain the capturing beast. And with this, in mind, we can go back to Heptabase. So here we are inside the membership and here is the ICO journey that our members can go through and you learn everything. But let's go to the digital note taking like a pro course. And here at the first, the first time is the, in the workflow section, workflow five, where we talk about note taking on third party content. So you know how to store third party content. And there's the magic slide. And here you see the capturing beast is appearing for the first time which shows you that no matter what information comes in, the capturing beast ensures that you know exactly where to place this later on. In this case, uh, it's the read later tool, but you will see it might be different tools where you place this on. Um, as we talk about Heptabase today, we will focus on this type of knowledge, the deep thinking knowledge that we will place there. So let's go to the PKM like a pro course. And in here we dive into the concept of the capturing beast in more detail. And here is uh, besides the video and the summaries, we have this magic slide. Let's use this to better explain what you just saw on Heptabase. On Heptabase, the my life concept, we separate to the three different buckets as you see here. We are using topics, which is general information about interests that you have, that you personally have. It's important that we are in the personal knowledge management. At the Paperless Movement and with i -Core, we also have BKM, which is business knowledge management, which works differently and described in a project management like a pro course. Here we are in your personal knowledge management area. So you might have thousands of topics that you're interested in, and this is where you place them then it's easy for you to know exactly where to go to in order to find any related information about a certain topic. Then we have key elements, which is information or topics, if you like, that if somebody takes away from you, this would be a big issue. So let's say family, friends, your businesses, all these things go into the key elements. And in current projects, it's just another bucket that allows us to prioritize on what we should focus on right now. 
So out of these thousands of topics that you may have, there might be something that becomes relevant for your business or anything like that and that you need to focus on. Every day at least one an hour or something like that. That's when you move a topic into the projects area. Okay, I think it's best to go back to Aptabase to show you this in action to get a better understanding. So again, this is my live OS concept and a setup. And these images, they are just AI generated. I just like to have a visual representation instead of just having the boxes. But you see already my topics, key elements, and my projects. There you go. You could call this my key elements as well, of course. And let's go into the topics to get a better understanding. Here, there are just a few topics that I focus on and we recommend to focus mainly on just three topics at a time. Obviously, whenever something comes around drawing skills, for example, I know exactly where to go to in order to store an interesting YouTube video I come across or something like that. But right now I'm really interested into game development, cooking, my cooking skills and woodworking. And that's the beauty about Heptabase with these whiteboards. So you see my navigation already. I'm here in my life. I just know, okay, the, okay let's go to the topics. I want to improve my cooking skills. And then there you go. Italian cooking, Asian cooking. And this is an iced tea creation that I made there. So let's go. And here I collected some... Uh, ideas how I can create my own iced tea, things like that, or the Italian cooking, their receipts in there, and, and insights and understanding of the different cuisines. Game development, boom, all right? So I started with Unreal Engine, I dove really deep into this, then I switched to Unity 3D Engine, and now I'm in here, and all these things, whenever I come across this as a hobby, I know exactly where to go to in order to store this. But it's a topic, so therefore the focus level to me is, well, that's nice if I find, if I can improve my understanding about these things, that's where I can go to. Woodworking, something I love to do and that I'm going deeper and deeper into. So whenever I find something about woodworking, where do I place now this insight that I got out of this video or the recommendation I got from somebody? Well, I know I go to my topics, there's my woodworking. I now have a proper project about woodworking that I say, man, I want to build playhouse for my children, okay, out of wood. I could keep it in a topic if there is no timeline or, you know, I just want to collect information about it. But if I really want to get serious about it, I would move this over to my projects. So therefore, I would create here a topic about, I would say, playhouse for my children. And then whatever I find, let's just drag something random in here, an image of a playhouse. And then I start collecting things on this whiteboard. I can create a card and say material list for playhouse. And so over time, I could start collecting information and I know exactly where to go to. Um, if I want to be more granular, I could now move this into my woodworking whiteboard. It disappears, now it's in there. Now let's go back to my life and say, this really becomes serious. I want to make a project out of this. Now I could go over here, try to move this over, but Heptabase makes it really simple. I will just go to my projects. I say ongoing and I say link to whiteboard. And here it is already, Playhouse for my children, boom. Now I have it here, it's linked. And I can double click, I move here and that's all I need. But now I have the representation that I have the focus on this, that I want to be serious. I want to study how to play, build a playhouse one hour a day or whatever. Okay, that's where you focus and that's where we really say there should never be more than two or three projects in here. Again, it's not related to your work projects. That's something different. And the key elements, let's have a look in here what there is. So you can have as many key elements as you like. But in my case, I have my health, which is the main key element as this health holds everything together. And um, then my happiness, there are insights on this whiteboard. Then my roles that would be, uh, let's go in here. So here being myself, being a son, being a friend, being a husband, being a father. You might don't want to have my roles, but that's something I set up here. And then obviously the businesses, here's the paperless movement and finances, things like that. They are really key elements that are affecting you on a daily basis. 
So now you see already when I, for example, go to my roles and I say, well, I have an insight about how to be a better friend or something like that. I got an inspirational quote or something. I know exactly where to go in order to place this. So now let's quickly have a look how to set this up from scratch. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, if you want to stay tuned, because we will share more and more things about Heptabase and therefore we are using this demo place and we will start with the My Life concept in here. So we just go to the map, we right click new whiteboard, double click, call it My Life. Then the three elements that we just set from the capturing beast and topics or my topics, whatever you like, projects and my key elements. And that it is. Now you see how simple it is to set this up. And if we go back to the capturing beast, you see it's represented by this. Let's quickly copy this over to see this in place. There we go. Current projects, my key elements and topics. But whenever we say projects in relation to PKM, we mean the current project concept of the capturing beast. There it is. Now you can add some images or whatever you like. You go into my topics, you start listing new whiteboards about the topics. Maybe you think a whiteboard is too much. Just create a card about a specific topic. You could have a list of a lot of cards that you have then in here. That might be more sufficient for you. The same for key elements. And the moment you start realizing, man, this topic becomes a lot more complex than I can hold it in a card. Well, then make a whiteboard out of it. But this is it right? No need to talk anymore. This is all you need to know. The three elements of the My Life OS concept and you know exactly where to store things. Is it that easy? Well, you can force the things to, for example, just use Heptabase as your only tool and try to bring everything in here. However, at the Paperless Movement, Paco and I, we are using three more tools, which are from Readwise, the reader app, the Tana application, the outliner, and Heptabase. Be cautious when you do this. You really have to have concepts and workflows in place. We use obviously the ICO methodology to set up all these tools based on these concepts. And there is another video that I made about understanding what information goes into Reader versus Tana versus Heptabase, the differences between shallow thinking and deep thinking. So if you're interested in to learn more about how we use these three tools in combination based on the Capturing Beast concept, well then I link the video here as well that you can watch next. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and let us know in the comments below if you had success with your My Life concept setup and how many topics do you actually have. I cannot wait to catch you up in the next video. Until then, have a good one.